there is not a ton of value in being the best necessarily mm. like because there's a baseline that it's just it, it's it's expected that everyone knows their shit like that's you you know you to function at all you got to be good right but the the thing that differentiates people who are like the best if they're if they are maybe a, an amazing player but they don't have this ability to work in this environment very quickly and to do all of those things that we're talking about it doesn't matter that they're the best they're not going to get they're not going to be the first call you know and yeah. like you've probably experienced all, this a all time. i fucking hear is that music is the same as sports that's mm-hmm. all I fucking yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, have kids yeah, yeah, yeah. that are the best athletes every year come out. But they're not team players. They're yeah. absolutely yeah. the fastest, the strongest, could do the most damage, and they don't fit in the fucking scheme, and they don't study their mm-hmm. playbooks, and we can't put them on the field. I always yeah, loved, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I always loved the, Very similar. from the movie Miracle, um, you know, with Herb Brooks in 1980 yeah. with the hockey team, and the first thing he did is he already had his list together, and and his, head, his assistant coach was like, but you're missing some of the best players. And he said, I'm not looking for the best players. I'm looking for the right ones. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, and that's literally putting a band together. By the way, yeah. just so you guys know, director of Jazz Studies at Purchase College, yes. But also, um, yeah, um, have you ever heard of, of Birdland Jazz Club in New York City? It's like I one have. Of the, this is my like, sister. My yeah, it's like one of the show. most famous yeah. jazz clubs in the world. Um, and he basically runs... Like he runs the the big band that's based out of there, and he runs a whole bunch. Oh, of we stuff gotta like, go hmm. when I'm in there. Oh, yeah, I'll be there for like five nights. Great, yeah, we'll get awesome. you. We we'll get yes. you in every Friday. Yeah. We're there. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like you've probably experienced this a ton of people that you either want to call or not want to call as much, even if they're great players, but they're not the right fit. Totally. Yeah. yeah like when I took over the band, it was a really toxic environment. You had. The band has been there before. Before I took over, it was 13 years that I was there, and you had people that were there from the beginning, and then people that were just there for the like the last two years of it. And so you had big generation gaps and just different ideas of what they wanted the band to be. And, um, and they were, everybody's sassy. Yeah. <laughs> so they needed me to come in and just be like, um, this. My vision is going to be the vision of the band, and mm-hmm. you're either on board with that or you go somewhere else. And uh, by the way, not to interrupt, uh, to, to totally interrupt you, <laughs> yeah. that doesn't that doesn't mean you're saying your your vision is the best. It correct. Doesn't mean you're saying it's correct. It's saying we're fucking picking a line. Exactly. And you're yep. going to be on it or not. Exactly. So I'm yeah. with that. Shit. Yeah. Exactly. Because what happened was before I took over, they, there was really no leadership, so they played kind of whatever, and and the, the quality went really way down. So I was brought in to make it more traditional and authentic and uh, so I'm like yeah so we're going to do this and a lot of them were, were bummed because it wasn't maybe their favorite thing or whatever I'm like look it's my job to bring this thing where it needs to be you're either on board or you're not I see it as it's it's a great it's a world famous club it's great musicians the pay is good it's a great time slot it's early it's, it's a dinner set so you can still make your Broadway show like it checks all the boxes if you're not on board with that see ya because I don't want to be here like I gave up like my Friday basically to do this gig and and uh, I needed to be like good energy and stuff. So I got rid of like toxicity right away. The people that I would bring in to play, yeah, like the vibe is really important. I call it with the students hangability, your ability to just be decent. Oh, totally. <laughs> and, 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 uh, cause if someone shreds and, and they're great, but they're an asshole on the set breaks and stuff, then that's toxic. It just, it just makes for a really negative experience. So everybody. Which that, will affect the music. It does. Yeah. Totally, yeah, totally. Yeah. Cause then the rhythm section will play differently for them and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. so, um, yeah, so I I had to change the vibe of the band. So so yeah, as far as playing ability goes, yes, you get to a point where everybody can play the gig. It's it's who's going to get along well with the band, and um and and yeah, like th- then all the professional things come into play. Like the gig starts at five thirty. Who's showing up at five twenty nine? Amen. You know, mm-hmm. and like who's there half an hour early? Totally. And then like who's helping out to put like the books back in the green room and stuff like that versus just splitting and doing it's their exactly gig? Exactly the same as sports. Uh-huh. Games. You realize oh, yeah. that? Like, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. It's the ex- Exact yeah. same. Yeah. You might have the best quarterback in the world. If everybody hates him, it doesn't fucking work. Yeah. Nope. I mean, it's like teamwork and anything. Amen. There was like this viral article that went around a few years ago. There was like no genius assholes uh, from the perspective of coders. Yeah. And like there's a lot of founders who have fired genius coders totally. because three people who can work well together who are competent are going to get more done than one asshole. Yeah. Like, so nope, true. I'm doing whatever I want. That's so true. You, you know, yeah. and, it, and it kind of brings it full circle to what we were talking about at the beginning of the show where it was like – talking about how the arts in school and i mean we are this is literally why this is important you just said i mean mm-hmm. it's 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 teamwork it's mm-hmm. anything involving teamwork and like you can get that from sports it's you know really important but 
you know, you can get it from music too. And like, and, yep. and from totally. the arts. Yeah, that's and the like, problem that sports get so much attention. It's like, well, not everybody can play. Not everybody sports. can play sports. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's good at that. Yeah. Not everybody's going to have the shot at that. But you know, you know, certainly from, I guess from like a physical perspective, music and arts is a lot more accessible by most kids, you know? And then, and then, you know, it, it just goes to show the importance of, of like how, how much growth, a kid can experience in the, in the way of working with others. And you know, it's you know, insane. It's, I mean, it's, it's wild. You say that one of the most influential things that ever happened to me was in third grade. We did a round of happy birthday. Yep. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was in fucking tranced. You would have thought they slipped me drugs. <laughs> I was like, what is this fucking magic happening? Yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was like truly like one of my first tastes yep. of teamwork. I couldn't believe how fucking cool it was. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So don't tell me that music doesn't fucking Hey, matter. you want to know fun You're fact? You're talking to a douchebag jock realtor. <laughs> so like, it is what it is. Fun fact, you want to know why that did that? Mm-hmm. Because when you do a round, it ha- it's built in harmony. So like yes. it's, it's a built in way to create chords. Like, and, and for some why do you know this why is it that um the voice the human voice harmonized has almost more power than anything else oh, that's interesting. why is it why is it so powerful to hear human beings guttural dude voice voices harmonized as opposed to instruments Maybe, maybe maybe you don't even maybe that's not even a perspective I don't you have, know, but, I don't know the answer to that yeah. but it's pretty amazing I mean I, it's kind of, similar I guess it would be the sound of an orchestra versus a jazz band. Like a jazz band can sound like very tense, like like textures and such, where, where an orchestra could just play three notes and it just rings. Like yeah. there's so much yeah. overtone in the sound. So I don't know, maybe it's overtone, but something about like where the sound is coming from too. Um, it comes internally and it's yeah. versus uh, an mm-hmm. instrument is all external. Yeah. There's I just, think you just nailed it. Yeah, there's just something special about about human voices. You know what I mean? Like, Maybe especially you harmonized. Be wired to respond. Maybe, to yeah. The, human voices. Yeah, there's probably something. Have you guys noticed, like that studio A24, who's doing that movie Men? I just saw it in the theater at noon yesterday. I was the oh, only yeah. person there, but like almost the whole soundtrack is entrancing harmony of human voices. Really? It's oh, really? Fucking terrifying. Really? Whoa, whoa. You're like, I wish they'd stop. Yeah. Is it, wow. is it, is it a horror <laughs> film? It's a horror thriller. Paranoid. Whoa, yeah. okay. It's great. Mm-hmm. Like A twenty four is the shit. They did Midsummer, Hereditary, Uncut Uncut Jams. Uncut Jams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uncut Jams. Oh, the soundtrack of that movie and the sound design. Bobby Krillick, man. Impressive. Wait, yeah, wait, that's what? A twenty four. Wait, wait, in mm-hmm. which one? Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. Yeah. Okay. I was yeah. just sitting there like this movie is incredibly well made. Also, I wish it would stop. For yeah. A second. yeah, yeah. Well, and also, it. it doesn't the, stop till that gunshot happens. Oh. Oh, spoiler. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, and and, and, like, and the other, right, 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 right. And the other thing, the other thing that's incredible about that one too is how they intentionally had just all this talking over each other. Anxiety. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's, yeah. And that's yeah. exactly that movie's fucking. Oh amazing. my god, it's great. <laughs> <laughs>